Hello students, welcome back to Clary Concepts on Leashing Conceptual Learning. Today in this lecture, we will be talking about the stream functions and potential functions for the uniform and free vortex flows. So we have two different flows, uniform and free vortex flows and for both of them we are going to talk about the what is stream function, what is the potential function. Okay. So let us focus about the, uh, firstly we will talk about both of these functions, stream and potential for the uniform flows. So let us say I have uh, a uniform flow flowing along the purely x direction. Okay, and the flow velocity is, since it is uniform, it means what? At each and every point, the flow has same velocity. So, I should say that if it is in totally horizontal, so if I mark point A and if I find velocity vector at point A, I, I am getting it is let us say u comma 0, where capital U is the component of velocity along x and there is no flow along y, that's for, therefore it is 0. And the same velocity vector will be everywhere because it is uniform flow. So, you take any point, let us say B. And if you find out the velocity vector at point B, you will get the same velocity values, u comma 0. That means this is a flow where flow field is like this, v is equals to ui plus 0j. That means your small u is equals to constant capital U and your small v is equals to 0. Now you are supposed to find out stream function and potential function. So firstly we will talk about the stream function, let us say. Let me find out stream function for this flow, stream function psi. We know that differentiating, if I want u, I will differentiate stream function with respect to y. And if I want v, I will differentiate stream function with respect to x, but negative of this. Either of that side you can put negative sign, right? Now you know what is u, u is capital U as it is. This is del psi by del y. What is v? It is 0, so 0 equals to del psi by del x. Now see, if you look at this expression, differentiation of psi with respect to x is 0, which means psi is not a function of x, is not, I can say, I will just put it like this, psi is no more a function of x, psi is not a function of x, isn't it? That means in psi there will, no, there will not be any value of x. Now you look at this, you capital U is equal to del psi by del y, if you integrate this on both the sides with dy you will get, this is cancelled. So, this is your u y equals to psi and since psi is not a function of x, you can just put constant. So, your psi will be equals to capital u y plus a constant c. Now, if you say that, uh, you know, the value of stream function at y equals to 0 will be psi equals to 0. If you put it over here, you will get the value of constant c that is 0 equals to u into 0 plus c, so c will be equal to 0. So therefore, you can directly say psi is equals to u y. What does it mean? It means that at constant values of y, that means at y equal to 0, you will have one six stream, stream uh, function line, another stream function and third and fourth. So all the stream functions are parallel to x axis, isn't it? Okay, now let me talk about the second is potential function. Potential function. Phi. What is the flow field? It is u comma 0. That means small u is equals to capital U and small v is equals to 0. Now we know that for a potential function u is equals to, I will write in a different way for better uh, you know uh, understanding. I can say that differentiation of phi with respect to x will give you u and differentiation of phi with respect to y will give you v. So this is what del psi by del x will be equals to capital U and del psi, del phi by del y will be equal to 0. Now what does it mean? V is 0. What does it mean? Phi is not a function of y. This remember this thing. Now you differentiate this. Now if you differentiate this with respect to x on both the sides, what you will get? This is 5 equals to u x. Ideally we write f of y. But since phi is not a function of phi, this will go to 0 and ultimately you can put just a constant c. So phi is equals to ux plus a constant c. Now constant we are putting so that we can give a reference to any of the line, right? So when I say that let us say at x equals to 0, the line passing through this point is uh, potential function is 0, let us say. So you mark this 0 equals to u into 0 plus c. Why we are doing this? Because we want to assign some reference. So we say that at origin when whatever is the stream function passing through origin, it is phi equal to 0. Sorry, whatever is the potential function passing through the origin, it is phi equal to 0. So c will be 0 directly. This means your 
You can put any value, huh? doesn't matter. This is just a reference. So 5 is equals to u into x. So at different x, you will have different y. So now if you see, for this kind of function, your phi is equals to ux and your psi is equals to uy. So if you talk about lines at y equal to 0, this is your psi. Psi equals to 0. Then, you know, at y equals to 1, your psi is just u. At y equals to 2, your psi is 2 times u. Similarly, you talk about phi. At x equal to 0, phi is 0. So this is your phi equals to 0. At x equals to 1, your phi is u. At x equals to 2, phi is twice u. So if you see stream constant, stream function lines and constant potential function line always intersects at 90 degree or right angle. This is also called as flow net. Uh, remember these things also. Okay, let me now take another uniform flow. Now it is in y direction. When the flow is in y direction, all the velocities will be in y direction. So if I write down the velocity vector, it will be 0, comma capital V, where 0 is the component of u and capital V is the component along the v direction, right? And you take it any at any point, the same value will you get of the velocity, right? You will get the same velocity. Why? Because the flow is uniform. So now here, your v is equals to 0, comma capital V. Therefore, u is equals to 0 and small v is equals to capital V. Looking about the stream function, first let me talk about the stream function psi. We know that del psi by del y will give me u and del psi by del x will give me minus of v, isn't it? So what is this? Del psi by del y, what is u? u is 0, which means psi is not a function of y. Remember this thing, right? Now, del psi by del x is equals to minus v. Minus v is this minus capital V. Now, different, integrate this with respect to x on both these sides. You will get just psi is equals to minus v x plus some function of y. But since here we understood that psi is not a function of y, the function of y will just be a constant number then. It will not be a function of y, right? This is the final answer. Now, you can also put again at x equal to 0, your psi is equals to 0, which will give you c equals to 0. And finally, your stream function will be minus vx, minus vx, okay? Now, let us calculate the potential function again. What is the potential function? Psi. I know that firstly, v is equals to 0, comma v, right? So, your u is equals to 0 and small v is equals to capital V. Now, let me talk about the potential function psi. I know that when I differentiate psi with respect to x, I will get u. And when I differentiate psi with respect to y, I will get v. This will give me psi by del x equals to 0. Now, therefore, psi is not a function of x, right? And del psi by del y is equals to v. v is capital V, right? If you integrate this with respect to y on both these sides, what you will get phi equals to v y plus a function of x. But since psi is not a function of x, you can just treat this as a treat this as a constant plus a constant c. And you can remove this c by putting at the right x y equals to 0, your psi is equal to 0. So this will give you c equals to 0. Simple in the equation. So therefore, psi will be v y just. Your, your phi is minus u x and psi is sorry minus vx and your phi is vy. Clear? So I hope you understood how to find potential function and stream function for the uniform flows. Now let us look at the uh, both the potential and stream function for the free vortex flow. Now what is free vortex? You might have seen this kind of tornadoes or kind of uh, revolving, I mean rotating uh, water bodies, right? This is basically free vortex. In free vortex, when you see, the velocity at the center is very, very high, rotational velocity. And as you move away from the center, the velocity will decrease, right? The rotational velocity. So let me show you one animation. So when the rotational flow is, I mean, when the flow is irrotational, you, you can see the balls, right? You can see the axis of this ball. It doesn't change. We have understood that what kind of flows are considered to be rotational when the axis also rotates on its own axis. So if the flow happens like this, you can say this is a rotational flow. But when the axis is just um, rotating around, but it is not revolving on its axis, you see, the orientation remains the same for both of these elements. So fluid element does not rotate as such. Therefore, this kind of flows are known as uh, free vortex flows, right? Or irrotational flow, basically. So for free vortex flow, if you look at 
the, the velocity vectors. So let's say I, from center if I draw the radial arm and if I would like to know the velocity of this particular point A, it will be tangential to this line. Yes, let us say VA. Now, here I will use the polar coordinate. Polar coordinate meaning I will choose the component of velocity along radial and uh, theta direction, theta direction, right. So, I hope you are little bit aware about this R theta coordinate. So, velocity A is larger nearby the center. So, now when you find velocity of B, it will be little less than this. But then again, the radial velocity is 0 because there is no movement of this particle along radial direction. The particle is totally moving along tangential direction, right. So, then the theta, uh, the value of u theta b is smaller. Then finally, when you talk about c, a uh, value of a particle little far than b, you will see that the velocity is even further reduced. So that means what? The theta velocity, that is u theta, is a function of radius. And that is this is fine that for a free vortex flow, u theta is a function of r, and it is c divided by 2 pi r. Now see, your velocity field is what? Velocity field is u r e r plus u theta e theta. See, this is the symbolic representation of velocity field in the polar coordinates. So, therefore, u r you can say is 0 in this particular case and u theta is basically c divided by 2 pi r. These are the velocity field u theta. Now, firstly, we will talk about the stream function. Now, you have to remember this because stream function will have little different formulas here. For a stream function phi in a polar coordinate, I should say that differentiation of stream function with respect to theta will give you u r, but you will have to put 1 divided by r because delta theta is not a length element. r the theta is the length element, right. And similarly, differentiation of psi with respect to r will give you negative of u theta. It is one and the same, but only difference is you need to put uh, r d theta in place of just d theta. Okay. Now, what is ur? ur is 0 is equals to 1 over r del psi by del theta. This means del psi by del theta is equals to 0, which means psi is not a function of theta anymore. Okay. Then you, you look at this particular point. This is minus of what is u theta? It is c divided by 2 pi r. This will be del psi by del r. So now del psi by del r is equals to minus c divided by 2 pi r. You integrate this with respect to r on both the sides, what you will get? You see, this will be phi equals to minus c divided by 2 pi into ln of r. And you can just put a constant c because this phi is not a function of theta as such. So this is the final answer. This is the stream function for the free vortex flow, stream function. So at a constant value of r, psi will be constant. So all of these lines you can say this is your psi equals to some psi 1, this is your psi 2, psi 3. So at different radius value will be different but at a common radius all the values will be same, right. Now let us talk about the potential function, potential function for this kind of flow. Now, for potential function, I let me tell you that since V is equals to uh, UR comma U theta and we know that UR is equals to 0 and U theta is equals to C divided by 2 pi R and now del phi by del R will be equals to UR and del phi by R del theta will be equals to U theta for the potential function. Now, del phi by del r is equals to u r which is 0. That means phi, since the differentiation of phi with respect to r is equal to 0, that means phi is not a function of r. We know that, right? It is not a function of r. Now, here if you see del phi by del theta, you can take r on the right hand side. It will be r into what is u theta? u theta is c divided by 2 pi r. This r will get cancelled. And now then you integrate with respect to theta, what you will get? You will get phi is equals to c divided by 2 pi into theta plus a constant c, constant c1 because c is already there. This is the potential function. Now, if you see at a constant value of theta, that means that theta equals to phi, you will have this is psi 1, psi 2, sorry, phi 2, phi 3 and so on. 
you can see why because at a constant theta constant theta are the straight lines passing through the origins right the streaming lines but at different r the value of theta will be at constant theta will be same so you can see you take any 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 point you see the stream functions were this right this was psi 1 this was psi 2 so at any point you see that they are intersecting at the right angle triangle right therefore this is also called as flow net so always stream function and potential function lines meet at the right angle triangle it is i mean unless and until their point is not a segmentation point where velocity is not there right otherwise they will always meet at the uh, 90 degrees so i hope you understood uh, the stream function potential function for the potential flows thank uh, for the vortex and uh, uh, free vortex flow and the uniform flow thank you so much see you in the next class